Welcome to this video about how to upload the WordPress sales page templates to your existing WordPress theme. Uh, the first thing we need to do is go to an FTP editor and I'm going to use FTP Zilla because it is or FileZilla I guess it's called because it's the free version out there. Um, what you want to do is take the folder that you have that has all the different WordPress sales page templates and then you're going to want to uh, upload those into the WordPress content folder um, in, within your existing WordPress go to the themes folder and then you're going to and for this example I'm going to use the default WordPress theme because it's the most popular WordPress theme um, on the planet however um, you would want to put it into whatever the actual WordPress theme that you're using on your blog so if that was uh, you'd find the name of that folder for the theme that you want to use and actually um, let me do that. We're going to put it in the default theme. And this is where you're going to upload the files. Now you need to open up the actual um, sales page template that you want to use. So in this one we're just going to use the blank sales page template. And we need to upload these three files to that actual theme folder. So we're going to upload that and as it's doing that we're going to go ahead and go over to our WordPress admin panel. And we're going to go to add new page. And it's taking just a second here. And you can name your page whatever you want. For this one, um, this site itself is about, as a matter of fact, we might look at the site real quick um, to show you kind of the existing look of the site. It's the classic WordPress theme that you're used to seeing, um, the, uh, the classic theme. And so to go back into the WordPress editor, on the new ad page we're gonna and this particular site is about DVD copy software so we're gonna call this page best DVD copy software and this uh, this page you know could be used in pay-per-click campaigns or uh, some other way as landing pages and I've created a little text document to cut and paste the text that I want to use into this I'm gonna use a uh, a sub headline to kinda get started and you want to hit this little box here to open oops to open up your full um, options here I'm going to highlight that text and it's not one to work with me here and I'm gonna choose headline 5 for that and I'm going to center it and then I'm gonna come down here to the next line and this is going back to the default paragraph and I'm gonna pick some more text out this is gonna be my main headline for this landing page and for this one I'm gonna select headline one and it looks a little funky on there but once it gets to the actual site it'll look fine and then I'm going I've got a third headline that I've already kinda of created and this one's actually going to be headline four we'll use. These are just different sizes, different formatting that it's going to look like on the site. And then now we're going to go back to just regular paragraph style. And I've just got some dummy text to put on this next line. And of course you could just, if you were doing this, you might just write it directly into the, into the panel. But I'm just going to, you know, paste a few lines of text and, oh, maybe on this third one here we'll do some bullet points just to kind of show you how, you know, if you were going to draw some features out for the product that you were promoting um, that you could do. Four features and then we'll go down here and, oops, a couple more. Maybe on this one we want it to be, you know, like a quote that someone gave us um, about this particular this particular product and we'll end that quote and then I'll put in a couple more lines of text and the last thing I want to do to make this look right I'm gonna go up here and add an image this is all just how you would normally you know enter 
um, in our WordPress page, and I've already added an image in here, and we're just going to put this in into the post. Oops, it got put down towards the bottom. I'm just going to cut and paste that. I want it to appear right up here at the top of the text. And it's going to be formatted to the right side of it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and publish this just to show you what it would look like on the existing site um, before we actually apply the sales page template to it. So I hit publish and it's going to, the site for some reason is hanging on me just a little bit. Now the page is ready. Let's go to the actual site. And you can look over here, best DVD copy software. And it's going to look a little bit funky in here because this default WordPress theme is not set up to look good in this. So, okay, we're going to go back a bit. And we're going to go back now and edit this. And the thing I want to draw your attention to is over here on the right hand side, there's this template option. Drop down, and there's the blank sales page template because we've FTP'd that. Now we're going to click update page. <coughs> and it's gonna take just a second to get that updated now we're live now we can go back to our site and notice existing WordPress theme still looks the same now let's go back to this page and see how it looks and voila now it's got our WordPress sales page theme look and feel just for this individual page and look at this I mean this looks good it's got you know the bullet points the fonts you could have a you know a call to action it's got this this is a plugin that I have installed on the blog so you can ignore that that wouldn't be on your site um, but how great is that to draw attention make it look got rid of the sidebar so if you were doing pay-per-click advertising this is perfect so uh, anyway, that ends this video showing you how easy it is now to incorporate the WordPress sales page templates, part of the WordPress theme bundle, into your existing WordPress theme. I uh, hope you enjoy it.